Oh my goodness, what a day. Okay, hey, how about let's go ahead and jump in and, oh, there we are. <laughs> All right, well, welcome, everybody. For those of you who were with me last time I streamed, we worked on this dude. Um, I did work on him a little bit more outside of the stream to be able to get him a little bit further. <clears throat> um, but I feel impressed to kind of change gears a little bit instead of working on my own self-portrait Spider-Man character guy here. Um, I'm thinking that what I might do is start over from my base mesh head and do a portrait of an inspirational... Because you know, I, I, I feel like one of the things that's happening in today's world is that women's voices are being diminished. Um, they always have been, and they've, they've never been given the voice that they deserve, but um, <clears throat> lately specifically, they are getting to be more diminished. And so I want to go ahead and take my my base mesh head here, and we can get rid of the, the hair, it's not really important. Um, Oh, there's more hair. Yeah, it's getting rid of that. Okay, so taking my base mesh head and turning it into an inspirational female figure from today. I have several different uh, different people that I kind of pulled up that I think would be good candidates for today's speed sculpt. It's just it's going to be a bust. It's not going to be anything big. It's just gonna be like shoulders up. Um, I've got Greta, Thorn uh, Greta Thunberg, I've got Malala, uh, I've got Megan Rapinoe, uh, Megan Rapinoe, for anybody who's who's uh, not familiar with, the, the first two are pretty, um, pretty super well known, you know, uh, you've got Greta Thunberg, who's, who's uh, an environmentalist and activist trying to push for, um, in fact, let's uh, let me let me pull up internet and we'll uh, we'll actually walk through some stuff. Okay, so we've got Greta Thunberg. And granted, I'm probably not saying that right since she is Swedish. Okay, uh, Malala. Oops. Yusofsi. I actually don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she is important. Megan Rapiner. She's a she's a soccer player. And what her big thing is is that she has helped to push for uh, equal pay for uh, female soccer for, well, for female athletes. Um, and and it's a uh, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, it's uh, the the pay discrepancy between the uh, I always thought it was kind of hilariously terrible. Um, the female soccer team, the discrepancies between the female soccer team here in the United States and the male soccer team, uh, <clears throat> and the female soccer team is so much more competent and they're much, they they win so many more games <laughs> and they've been so much so much greater of a team in the world stage than than the US male soccer team and so yeah anyway so so she's she's pretty cool um Simone Biles okay um, I really like what she did in the in the latest Olympics, where um, where she decided to step down and take a rest because of how her body was. Um, let me see. And and granted, I don't I don't know everything behind the scenes of like what's happening with her and her life. 
Um, but I do love that she was able to to have the courage to to kind of set herself down to rest. Uh, Melinda Gates. And you guys feel free to like weigh in. Like if you guys see one that I that I pull up. Um... Alima Aiden. Um, she was one that was interesting to me because, um, well, I mean, she was, well, she's, she's a model, but she's one that, um, she's one that decided to be very forward and very, um, very outspoken about wearing her hijab during whatever events you know she's it, it said that she um she wore she was the first woman to wear a hijab in sports illustrated um so yeah just just kind of a kind of a cool you know she's she's standing up and she's wanting to make sure that she's not you know lowering her standards changing who she is to be able to to be able to uh you know show pride in who she is um, got Oprah Winfrey. Serena, Serena Williams. In fact, I might, I might do Serena Williams. I love Serena Williams. Um, and there's this really cool picture that I've got of her on, on the, uh, on my iPad. Ah, yeah, I might do, I might do Serena. There's Amanda Gorman. She's the poet that uh, um, the poet that read at the inauguration of the uh, the president. <coughs> so yeah, she's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's the end. Of, that's the end of my list. I think I might I might pick Serena for today. Cause she's awesome. Let me see. Go back to. I wonder if I'll have to. What the hell? <laughs> no idea what's going on, but it's like I keep getting calls from things that aren't my phone. All right. Yeah, let me see. Maybe I'll just send this uh, this picture over to. Yeah, but I don't want to. This might be a good picture. Let's 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 go through. I'm going to pick out a couple of pictures, and then we'll decide what we want to. What we want to use. To be able to, cause like I I like this uh, this this pose, this expression. So I might try to. I don't know. It's either, I either want to do something like this. Oh, that's a that's a good uh, good image because it's just a good simple side view. Be able to see more of her pro profile. Um, or I want to do something kind of like this, where she's got like the, you know, that scream, that like, that like, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. But yeah, I just, I think she's got such a great face, like this, like the strong bridge of the nose and the, just the powerful powerful like cheekbones it's just so so strong uh great great face yeah let me see yeah this will be a good one open that image up And this will be a good one because it allows me, it's a three-quarter view, 
So, so I'll be able to use this to be able to decide a lot of what it is that I'm trying to get out of it. So let me see, let's, let's get uh, save image. Um, I'm just going to make a little folder inside of my downloads folder. Uh, here, let's put a little underscore there. Boy, my computer's going slow right now. I don't know why. Okay, let's go ahead and save that image there. Yeah, that's a great image. Oh, it's not even a JPEG. An image in a new tab, please. So we got to kind of cheat it here. Print screen. Screen grab that. See what this will do. Like it's always nice when you're picking out um, reference images. You want to try to pick reference images that allow you to get a good sense of depth and volumes. So like right here, this is great because this allows us to see like more or less the shape of the head. I mean, her hair is going to have a little bit of volume on top of that. Um, but I mean, her hair is pulled back pretty tightly against her head. So we can guess that her ha her head's kind of coming back through here, something like that. Um, you know, we can see like super awesome definition in her cheeks. We can see how far like uh, like the, 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 the volume to her to her lips, the way that her nose kind of runs into her forehead in that sort of way, how far back set in her eyes are, the the rough placement of the ears, the shape of the ears, awesome, absolutely awesome. Okay, so this is a great image. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and save this image. Oh, that's gonna be a good one down there too. Let's go ahead and hit save. That's a good one, and this is a good one. This is a good one because it'll allow us to see that expression from a different angle. Okay, helps us to understand a little bit better, like kind of what's happening inside of the mouth, which is super cool. I think that's the same as the other picture that I downloaded actually. We'll get this one too because it's more of a side view. So that'll help us to understand kind of how the uh, how the cheeks and <laughs> when the re when the perfect reference is too small. Yeah, absolutely. Uh what happens to like the cheeks and the nose when she's um Oh shoot, another one of these. Um, when she's when she's in this extreme kind of pose here. Open image and new tab. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'll actually be taking my personal base mesh head and I'll be doing a You know, turning it into a Serena in my style sort of thing. Um, okay, last one, I think. And then we'll go ahead. Oh, shoot. You got to be kidding me. I hate that image file type. It doesn't help anything. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got to go and I got to find the uh, the screenshots, put them into a um, 
but yeah, so just to show you kind of what it is we'll be taking, we'll be taking my, my head base mesh here, and I'll be turning this into, uh, into Serena. Um, I got to go ahead and see downloads. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now I've got my, my images up here. Let me see, just kind of like size wise, how bad is it? <laughs> yeah, they're the exact same. So we'll just go ahead and delete this. And then we'll be left with that one. Okay, cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get get this started. Now that we've already got our I'm going to I'm going to do a couple of changes right here. I'm going to go into my quick save and I'm going to change my maximum duration to let's say 60. Let's turn our rest duration to like 5. Uh that way we don't get as much quick save as uh, as we would. Um let me see. My boss got a little annoyed with quick save uh, the other day and she's like, yeah, turn it off. So yeah, that's what we ended up doing is kind of changing that duration time. Okay, let's go ahead, let's add in an image or two to our spotlight. Serena. Let's see, this will be our our main image there. In fact, let's go ahead and dock this over to the side so that I can get to it more easily. Oh, here, let's, so you can see right here, like it's, it's, it's losing some of its detail because those parts, these pixels in this image, they're completely black, like 100% black. So what we got to do is we got to change our intensity a little bit. You just grab that just pop it up just a teeny little bit until that disappears. Okay. So we have our image. If we want to, we can get rid of the background, hopefully. <laughs> we just grab the paint and then control alt, click and drag. I'm starting to get rid of her uh, her arm down there. I don't want to get rid of her arm. Here's what we're going to do. Let's, let's turn up the opacity so we can see move this off to the side get rid of some of these bigger chunks over here let's get rid of some of that it's not going to be perfect it's going to be one of these things that you know since since I'm not doing this inside of Photoshop where I typically enjoy I don't know why it got rid of her so easily because the tones are super different. Anyway, get that, get that, get rid of some of these bigger ones, these more obvious ones. And then one of the other things that I can do is I can come over here, pick black and I can just paint black and that'll get rid of some of these other outlying, I'll call it scraps. <laughs> Clean up the scraps a little bit. I'm trying to be careful not to get the actual reference image because I don't want to lose it. I, I, I want to make sure that I have, oh shoot, like that. You can see I just, I started to get, uh, I better I better keep it then. Make that brush smaller so I can get in hopefully a little bit tighter here. And then that's probably going to be good enough. Okay. And I, I don't have to worry about the back of the head really a whole lot because unless I were to just come in here and just kind of Get rid of it kind of like this. 
because the thing is that if I if I were to go through and do um, the control alt click and drag without having separated it like that, I would have had to worry about you know not being able to <laughs> um, what's it called not being able to uh, keep the hair. And I definitely want to be able to keep the hair. I feel like that's uh, part of our character. So these, uh, so being able to do that and setting up our our reference is super super helpful. Okay, so now we've got this. Let's pull her down into this corner. Okay, that'll be good. Let's change our opacity back so that. Oh, wrong opacity. Where is it? There it is. Change the opacity back so that way we have the right thing here. Let's turn off all of our color. We'll turn off our smart material and just go to this, uh, just go to white. So we're working with just our our model, just our, our sculpt for, for now. Okay, here we go. We are ready. <clears throat> oh, I guess we're not ready yet. We added spotlights. So we got to go brush samples. Boom. Spotlight projection. Now we're ready. <laughs> now we are ready. Oh, good. I still have water from work yesterday. <laughs> mm. oh, okay, that doesn't taste great. Oh, that tastes like freezer. It tastes like ice. Oh. I was gonna say, oh good, it's still cold, and then all of a sudden it tastes terrible. Um, <laughs> okay, so a couple of things that I think I wanna do. Um, you know what, let's go ahead, let's add in also this, this uh, side view. Same thing, we're going to want to change our intensity. So we have the whole picture, the whole everything. We're not losing the pixels in the hair and whatnot. Okay. Just trying to do like small bits here and there to hopefully avoid losing Losing her. Come on. Oops. Too strong, too strong, too strong. Back it up. Pretty good. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. So what I'll do is I'll start kind of blocking using this kind of side profile view here. It's gonna get rid of some of her hair, but that should be all right. How's everybody doing, by the way? Let's go ahead and pull Serena over here. Let's pull. And let's go ahead and let's send her to the back. And I feel like something like that will be helpful. So let's go ahead and say this. I'm gonna say texture, save spotlight. Since we're working in Serena, we're gonna call Serena 
Spotlight. A. And that should hopefully be good. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's start moving points around and uh, start to actually build her out. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, let's turn off the eyebrows too, because the eyebrows are going to make a huge difference. I'm going to need to kind of change those shape, the, the shape of those at some point. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to start by kind of modifying this nose. Okay, right now it's got a very different shape. Uh, based on my base mesh, so we're going to have to do a little bit of work to make sure that this feels about right. Okay, to kind of get... She has like this very different swoop. Whereas mine has like this crook. So the reason I don't use pure ref for this particular thing is that it, this is something that I can go through really quickly and easily and turn on and off. I can change the opacity and it's all native inside of ZBrush. Um, I don't have to worry about doing anything extra. Uh, with Pure Ref, uh, it's always on top. It's kind of, it's a little bit trickier to, to navigate. It's not as flexible. Um, I know that you know, other people can probably work it the same way that I work Spotlight, and that's fine, that works, that's great. Um, I just prefer, I prefer it. Maybe I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I just prefer it. Okay, there we go. And turn off perspective. I don't know why my computer seems to be moving so slowly. Yeah, let's go over here. Mask lasso. this and kind of pull her pull that face out a little bit that chin's gonna need to be kind of pulled back some and the, the upper lip needs to be heavily uh, emphasized let's go ahead and pull this in here the cheekbones need to be changed the brow needs to change let's let's go ahead let's let's work on changing this brow cuz this is like this is going to be a big big deal by the way for those of you who are new to my stream um, I am Steven Anderson, um, also known as the smartest, <laughs> um, it's a combination of SMA, my initials, and the word artist, okay, um, And then I work for Marvel Studios Animation uh, as a character artist, as a character modeler. Uh, a lot of fun. Love what I do. Uh, so yeah, I get to do this all day, every day, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's start working on kind of pulling this nose around a little bit. I feel like just generally this uh, this base mesh, it's, it's funny because the one that I'm working with at work, I always felt like it was such 
a heavy bass mesh. Um, but now I just feel like my personal bass mesh is just <laughs> too light. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's add a little bit more to this selection. Now let's fade it out. Kind of pull it back. Okay, let's work on the shape of this nostril here. There's going to be a lot of stuff that needs changing, and that's fine. You know, this is the this is the roughing phase. So this is the phase where, you know, you try to get everything just kind of blocked in and get everything sort of working. Um, let's get that nose kind of change where because like you can see like that that ridge right around her nostril and the way that it kind of like fades into that right there so we're going to have that go more like this let's have this kind of come out just a little bit more Something kind of like that. She has like this powerful, powerful like nose bridge right up here. So I'm just trying to kind of consider that. <laughs> Did I make Iron Man? No, I don't. I didn't make Iron Man. I'm working on. Uh, I actually was at Netflix before this. Um, I'm on my first show with with Marvel, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, I can't tell you what it is that I'm working on, uh, but I'm super, super excited about it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mask that, kind of pull this up, pull this up, just so that that nose kind of just dives right, you know, perpendicularly into the, into that upper lip. Um, I feel like this is getting a little bit too square through here. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off. Turn on the Z add. Oh, sorry. Turn on. Turn down the Z add. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna soften out the jawline over here a little bit. Let's kind of pull down the. Uh, you know, see, we can kind of get this neck because she's got like this super muscular neck, and then the shape of how it flows into her into her chin, uh, a little bit more roundness under underneath her chin. So we're gonna kind of pull that in. Yeah, her neck is so much more musk has so much more muscle than than my neck has. <laughs> All that superpower kind of coming in on the tennis court. Let me see. I'm going to take this back section of the head. Soften that, soften that, boom. Just kind of pull that, pull that. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go quickly with this, and then we'll probably go ahead and start trying to block in uh, hair and get everything represented here quickly, so that way we can start to, and we might even start to block in some some color too, just to. See, this is like, this is too square. And 
and this is this is meant to be caricatured a little bit this is meant to be designed a little bit so it's not going to be like you know a realistic sculpt of serena williams um See if we can get these cheeks to feel about right here. And she doesn't have like, like super heavy eyelids like I have, so I've got to kind of diminish that a little bit. Um, just got to kind of let's see, let's do this. Pull that in. She has much more, uh, much more cheek than I do. It's like my my cheek line kind of kind of almost vanishes through here, but she has hers. And it's pretty present. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, no, I guess. Uh, yeah, the titles don't always get changed. Uh, it's probably still showing Aura from last night, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm I'm Steven Anderson, definitely not Aura. Um, but hopefully, you can still learn and enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, Serena's a machine, but she's uh, not a machine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be doing just geometry hair uh, here inside a ZBrush. It won't be anything too terribly fancy. It'll be something to um, it's a little bit too much here. It's just a, it's just going to be kind of a little bit of a of a sculpt representation of uh, of Serena to kind of get yeah just kind of a representation. I'll just leave it at that. Just a little bit too much up here. I'm trying to. simplify and stylize and I think I need to like if I'm going to simplify and stylize I think I need to take it even a little bit further and it might be worthwhile instead of focusing on getting her right in this uh, in this pose like in a neutral pose it might be worthwhile to to try to actually, I don't like how round that is. It feels too round. Let me see. Let me check some of these other some of this other reference. Do I have? Yeah, I've got this one. Let's see what this one kind of looks like. Yeah, let's let's kind of change the width of her head a little bit there. We can change our, our see-through too if we wanted to be able to use images like that for reference. It's uh it's not my favorite way to work, but you know it's it's an option and it's a tool. Got to get rid of that Adam's apple impression right there. And then her ear shape is super different from mine, so let's see if we can get something going on here for that. Let's kind of grab these, kind of pull that in, because it looks like she's got like that indentation there. this top bit a little bit give a little bit more of a twist right there so that it's got some more pull 
um, her earlobe kind of comes out a little bit further. So let's kind of play with that some. Let's see, we add our resolution layer back. Yeah, it's funny because like I think this is more like the uh, the resolution of um, of the base mesh that <laughs> at the lowest level <laughs> that we use at work. Um, so it's kind of kind of funny it's it's it, there are a lot of points to kind of move around but you know it, it works it's, we got to go ahead and kind of clean this area up a little bit oops it's not the right area there it should be that I think yep gonna kind of play with this some um. yeah anytime you guys have questions <laughs> feel free to ask why stay in no subdivision actually I do have subdivisions and I just try to go back and forth between them and it just has to do with, um, it has to do with broad changes or detailed changes. So like right here, I'm trying to modify this uh, this jawline so that it's, you know, smooth and has the right forms and things like that. Um, if I'm not careful, then it, uh, then it, you know, the forms get away from me. And so, it's really important for me and my workflow to have the forms under control and worked out in that sort of way. Um, let's kind of round out this chin just a little bit. And you can see like there's some crazy weird consistencies happening up here. Um, but yeah, so, so working with with a lower resolution helps me so that I can control it when I move it to a higher resolution, you know, if I choose to. Um, it's always important to work clean. And so having a having the lower resolution forces me to control forms before I get into details. Okay. Okay, let me see. Her eyes her her top eyelid kind of comes down a little bit more let's let's go ahead and start playing with getting this expression in here going in here let's make sure I just need to make sure that these that the corners of the eyes kind of stay put change her eyes a little bit more to be able to better match the uh, the reference lots that happens when you're trying to modify a model to look like something else <laughs> And then she's got her uh, her brow, um, her brow like the skin from her eyebrow kind of comes down a little bit further than mine does. So let's go ahead. We'll grab this. Let's see. 
like something like this, and then we'll just start kind of pulling this down some. Say Control H to hide the mask. That feels a little bit more right. Maybe just for the sake of kind of finessing the anatomy and the flow right here. Let's just kind of play with how this meets up. Cool. That'll work so far. Let's kind of take away some more of the width that we added in here. And then what I want to start doing is start to bring in some color. And we'll turn the color on and off uh, just to be able to to really test it. Okay. Lots of things going on here. All right, let me check the chat just to make sure. Um, why do I see a lot more female characters than male? <clears throat> um, so it's, it's very interesting. Uh, people feel more that, well, okay. So, so there, there are kind of two sides to this coin. People like to look at appealing female characters more than they like to look at appealing male characters. That's just how it is. Um, not everybody is going to be that way and not every female character is going to be better than every male character it's just that's just not it, not it um the but yeah and then it's also more challenging to create an appealing female character <laughs> than it is to create an appealing male character and this comes into uh, societal norms and uh, things like that where it's like you know the way like the pressure that society puts on women to be appealing you know and 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 so everybody has like this uh, pressure to get it right sort of thing it's like oh it's not pretty enough or oh it's not skinny enough or no it's not you know whatever it's like oh it's not right but you know with a male character uh, it's more forgiving because less people care <laughs> it's like so long as it looks cool it's it's just fine um but yeah with a in fact with with her what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make some changes here i'll be i'll be going back and forth around lots of different parts of this head um Part of what I want to do is make sure that the ears are not too... Oh my gosh. They're not too big. Um, we can see a little bit that this is not quite shaped right, so we just got to play with some of this. Uh, um, so yeah, there, there are a lot of things that kind of go into why female characters are more popular to make than, than male characters. And a lot of it just has to do with the challenge of it, but it also has to do with, you know, um, being more fun to look at or you know over sexualization or things like that so that's that's one of the things um, that I have seen something to definitely be you know kind of 
careful of, you know, <laughs> and something that I'm trying to, to change and something that I want to be able to kind of help lately is that women don't get the voice that they, uh, that they deserve in society. And, you know, so I want to kind of you know, sculpt some, some women that are impactful to me uh, that have you know very positive messages to share. Um, I figured I'd start with somebody that's iconic and and kind of work my way towards uh, you know maybe women's voices that aren't as uh, aren't as heard. You know, smaller individuals. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get this uh, this color poly paint just colors watch this this is pretty much magic now there's going to be some color change that we have to that we have to make in order for us to to really truly actually work but this can get us a good start it needs to be a little bit more yellow uh, let me see hue Oh, wrong direction. Kind of boost that saturation some more. Not too much, too much right there. Something like that, maybe. It's kind of hard to see. I'm not used to, because like I have the window right behind my monitor, and so it's kind of hard to see. Obviously, there's like so much that's going on that's super, super wrong. But you know, we'll get some <laughs> some better colors in here. Uh, let's maybe get let's maybe bring the uh, no, I don't want to bring that saturation back too far. Let's do let's try something like this to start. Let's go ahead and grab that paintbrush. We'll just kind of paint out that color around the eye there. She does have like a little bit of a darker color kind of coming in around her eye. And then we need to get kind of more of a yellow. Just lighten that up just a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Let's see if we can kind of like brush this in just lightly. There we go. We need to get some brows uh, blocked in for. Yeah, it's been kind of interesting. I've been paying more attention to uh, black skin lately, being able to see kind of the, the tones that actually go into it. Um, I'm trying to learn how to how to get it how to get it a little bit better, you know. Let's get some of that. Let me do something kind of like this for now. Her lips are not quite like this. Let's uh, let's see if we can get something that's a little bit more. I guess almost kind of more like this. Let's, or maybe it's even part way between those two. Let's see. That feels a little bit better. It's going to need to be darker, and it's going to need to be a little bit more saturated and things like that. Maybe a little bit more red. So we'll play around with it and kind of figure out what needs to happen, but that's a little bit much. Um, let me see this. Let's just get rid of that and then 
we'll paint the rest of this. There we go. Yeah, it's that's a little bit too dark. I don't know. We'll get to we'll get to that. We'll come back to that. Let's turn our color on for that. And it looks like it's is that a texture map? Is that an actual texture map? No, I don't think it is. Okay, let's come back in here to poly paint. Adjust colors. Frame. Oh shoot, I don't want to actually change that. So let's 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 go ahead and turn on a mask. We'll say tolerance. Let's grab another mask and we'll pull in that color. That way we can kind of mask that out. And we can say, let me see. Oh yeah, turn off in inverse mask, there we go. Okay, so let's change our hue. See, this is like absolute magic to me. Being able to, to change this stuff. that for right now all right let me see it's always a good idea to stay as low as possible till you get the right silhouette and a bit of likeness it's easier that way because you don't get bogged down with the fine details 100% yep on Twitch, they get more clicks. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> um, do you ever touch up scans of humans? I hate doing uh, 3D scan cleanup. It's it's a mess, and it's terrible. Um, so I stay as far away as I can from, uh, <laughs> from 3D scans. Um, that being said... There are people who do phenomenal work with 3D scan cleanup. Um, it's just something I super don't enjoy at all. So it's, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and put in those eyebrows we're gonna have to do like a lot of tweaking to make this so that they feel right, but you know, whatever. And she doesn't seem to have quite as much. Uh, I guess it's. I guess it's not true. I was gonna say she doesn't have quite as much of like a like a peak to her brow as as uh, as I put into my own character, but uh, I think that's not quite true. Okay, kind of make it so it doesn't break the silhouette quite as much. Just trying to bring it in some and kind of tame it up a little bit. to be a little bit lower too. Kind of tricky. It's like one of the, one of the hard things for me with this particular exercise is that I'm trying to go through and stylize it at the same time as get a little bit of a likeness. I think there's too much to the top of the head. I think the bottom lip is too big as well. Let's go ahead and 
use the move topological, kind of bring that down, make that top lip a bit more pronounced. some eyelashes in here which that'll kind of help to make it feel more stylized um, it's just going to take a minute to kind of get these situated so that they're fitting the eye So far, it's going somewhere. Okay, let me see about getting some, uh, getting to some of your questions here. Oh, this needs to be darker. But let's uh, let's let's see about a question. Not poly groups, poly paint. Oh, I see texture map. No. Oh, maybe it's not painted at all. There we go. MRGB color fill. Something kind of like that. So yeah, it's starting to look like her. <laughs> Let's see. Um, are you doing full likeness or a caricature? More caricature, kind of like a like a. I like to call it stylized realism, where it's like it. Uh, where it's supposed to be kind of a kind of a cartooned. Um, kind of Disney-esque in style. Okay, let's grab this color right here real quick. Let's grab that, invert it. This will just kind of help us to get a little bit more of that uh, Kind of depth color in here. That's too much. Let's go ahead and grab this and we'll give that some more color. That That's a little bit better. I like that better. The lips, for the lips, for the color for the lips, I'm going to want to find something that's a lot more like a, like a, some sort of reference to be able to color this out a little bit better. Um, it's kind of a... Yeah, lips lips are just hard. I'm gonna kinda fake something, see if I Yeah, I kinda like that. That works for now. That works for now. Alright. Let me see. And 
I would argue that it's harder to do a female face because they have way more subtle and soft characteristics. That's also true. That's also true. Let's get the hair blocked in next. Got any tips for getting the right sort of head shape? I've been told about helmet head stuff. Oh, yeah, helmet head. Yeah, that's that's kind of a tricky thing because you want to make sure that you're thinking about the, crani the cranium to get the head shape and not the shape of the hair. The shape of the hair is not going to help you a ton in getting the head right. I've, I've still got to probably work on... Yeah, let's, let's do something real quick. Let's change the opacity down just for the sake of being able to check some basic like shape and proportion, see how we're doing. Yeah, I mean, you can see like way off, way, way off. So let's, let's do a few things here. We're just going to kind of push and pull until we get something that's more similar to kind of what it is that we're seeing here with uh, with Serena's face. In the end, this will probably get us a little bit more of a likeness, but also a little bit more realism. So we got to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, so right here, this is kind of where I'm talking about where you want to be careful to get the shape of the head and not the shape of the hair. Hair always has volume, even if it's pulled stretch over, uh, pulled like stretch tight over. Uh, over the person's head uh, so we want to be careful with that okay so that was more of a side view look at kind of what's happening um, I also want to it made it feel more masculine let's let's see if we can get the you see I need I probably need to soften out the uh, see let's get the ear kind of placement a little bit better pull that up pull that down let's get this jaw placement okay so I need a lot less of that Pulling this little indentation forward some. Kind of rounding out this section, trying to make sure that I don't have. Things in too weird of a place. Check things from different angles. Let's get the hair blocked in now so that we can uh, so we can really start to see how things are coming together. Let's fix this real quick since we're here. hope is that this will be at least as cool as my Kobe portrait. <laughs> okay, let's block in the hair now. So what I'm going to do is let's grab the eyes because I think that these don't have any subdivisions. I guess not the eyes. We already have. We already have her base. So the. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab this. We'll put this into the center. Actually, let's let's go ahead and do something like this, and then we'll. Yeah, that hairstyle is like wild. That is something else. 
Um, let's go ahead and grab this, we'll pull it up. We'll make it the same color as the eyebrows for now. And actually let's let's use yeah, we'll keep we'll keep this. This is fine. Because essentially this is just going to be a block in for the hair anyway. Um So now let's kind of go in here. We'll mush this around so that it fits the silhouette. Scale it out, pull it, push it. All that stuff, all the good stuff, right? Um, now some of what we're going to want to do is that her hair gets pretty thin toward where like the front of her hair is kind of like coming from her scalp. Um, so we're going to want to probably just paint in some of that color and lead out to the uh, lead out to the main body of the hair on her head. So we'll see kind of how that how this uh, how we play this. Oh no! Uh, I didn't I didn't fill that color at all. Okay, let's get rid of this. Delete. Okay. <clears throat> and the other thing too that we have that we need to add in is the hair band. That's going to be important. So let's let's do this. I'm going to say Control Shift D. Let's go ahead and get this geometry modify topology delete hidden, and then we'll go ahead and we will make this white like her headband is fill object we'll fix up some of the shape issues here just kind of a fun question of the day what is a childhood memory that you have that you like to remember. It's something that gives you a little bit of nostalgia. Just to get some uh, discussion going on there. Um, <laughs> feel like cleaning up 3D scans would feel like cleaning up somebody else's mess. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I mean, 3D scanning is getting a lot better. Um, I mean, I did have to do a lot of that when I was working at Imagineering. Uh, things that I would have to, you know, clean up or or reference for the sake of scale for a, um, you know, for like theme park rides for Disneyland. Um, that was crazy. Um, but you know, it worked, and it was something. It's a job. Um, there were much cooler things that I did when I was at Imagineering. Um, but yeah, one of those things that's just like, just another tool. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's crease. Kind of like this. All right. We're starting to get somewhere, right? that we keep those colors on straight. <clears throat> okay, 
So I feel like this kind of hairstyle is much more iconic for Serena than the other one. Um, but I don't know. It's like it's like one of those things. What do you guys think? Is this model for render or for something else? It's really just for render. It's um, in fact I did something similar with uh, Kobe Bryant. I don't know that I'll get as I don't think I'll I, I don't think I'll do as much of a, oh, that's kind of cool to check that out later. Um, I don't think I'll get as developed with these as I did with uh, with Kobe, but yeah, it's just kind of kind of this sort of idea where it's you know just a simple simple portrait. Um, turned out all right. I feel like I feel like this is not turning out quite right. The uh, the nose area feels pretty off to me. I gotta figure out kind of what's going on with that shape. I'll try something like that for now. by the time I go through and start actually doing the expression it'll feel a little bit better but let me see if I can get a better image of her uh, of like this sort of hair I, I don't think I I don't think I saw one because like I love that hair and I think it's super super cool Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Okay, so we'll we'll do we'll do something kind of similar to this, where she's got like the uh, the poof, the tie, and then the poof, uh, but the but like the loose poof on the end there. So let's let's do something kind of like kind of like that. Let's see. Let's check and see kind of how this is following the head shape. Let's see if we can make this fit a little bit better. So we've got that. Yeah, the eyebrows are a little bit thick. I think there'll be some uh, some definite need to tweakify them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of put this. How do I want to? How do I want to structure this? That's, that feels up too high. Let's put something out like maybe like this. It's always so tricky, uh, you know, making people who are iconic or characters who are iconic because they're iconic. <laughs> You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's say boom boom. Let's center it. I'm gonna use taper just to kind of puff that out a little bit. And then let's say let's say bend curve. Let's change the direction though. Cool. Give it another bit of resolution there. This one we can take it and scale it in some. 
maybe make it intersect with that other hair up here. This one, we can scale it out some. Okay, so this is intended to be poof, and that's that's totally the wrong shape. Let's let's do this. Let's hit accept. Let me see. And I think part of it is just that it's still just block. So it's <laughs> going to be hard to really tell if it's doing what I want it to do. Make sure that those are different poly groups. It doesn't look like Serena Williams anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe instead of doing, instead of doing the, uh, this big, uh, you know, kind of double poof. Let's, let's get rid of the, get rid of the one. And we'll just do the one big long body of hair here. Let's go ahead and paint in a little bit more of that hair color to kind of get the uh, to get everything to feel like it's doing what it's supposed to. this in here kind of like that the rest of that feels like it should probably be all right but I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit there I feel like the head is too far forward compared to the neck so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab the neck And maybe what we ought to do, since I want to be able to pose her anyway, maybe it's just a matter of taking it and just, let's just pose it. Let's just pose it. Start getting her, uh, her big expression in there. Expressions are always kind of kind of fun. This is where it's like I feel like things are starting to pull together. <clears throat> Let me see. How much time does it take to make a full production character for animation purpose? It depends. Um, a lot of times, so it depends on what part of the process you're at too. Um, the uh, the beginning of the process, um, 
there's a process to be able to go through and make sure that you have the right base mesh because if you have the right base mesh you can build all the characters from that base mesh and you can um, and you can go ahead and take uh, you can you can copy things like blend shapes you can copy things like skin weights uh, you can share textures things like that across the board um, even if it's just as a starting point um, Oh, no teeth. I'll have to go and find some teeth. <laughs> I'll copy my teeth from here. <laughs> See if this works. Um, I'll have to kind of like change kind of the uh, art direction on those teeth just a little bit, but I think that might work. At least a little bit. Like you can see like the teeth are coming down a little bit too far, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll do something like this. Um, so yeah, at the beginning of the process, you have to go through and define your topology. You have to define um, really everything. There, there's so much to actually go through and, and, and work and figure out. Um, but once you do, then it goes a lot faster. So, and and honestly, I don't I don't know that I've ever I've never been heavily involved in the character topo uh, like the actual topology for production uh, side of it. Um, I've always been on kind of at a at a point where we're using a base mesh to be able to to work and rework. Um, that being said, um, I do make my own topology, which I feel is important. That's a little bit better. Okay, so the big important thing is to make sure that these teeth are kind of in the right position for here. The bottom teeth are going to be positioned differently. Let's just kind of kind of open that up. Um, so to answer the question as to how long it takes, uh, it's a hard question to answer. Um, let me see. So currently I've been on with Marvel, for instance, for a month. Okay, I started a month ago. I've already whipped through two entire characters. I'm almost done with my second character. Um... We're just waiting for approvals. We're waiting for um, visual development to kind of co go through and, and sign off or send notes or things like that. So, you know, two characters in two months, uh, two, sorry, in two characters in a month. <laughs> um, it's really quick because there's already because um, there's already a defined base mesh that I'm able to work from. Um, really important distinction, but also a super, uh, super powerful tool. Um, golly, this feels like it's like chugging along. I better save. <laughs> this mouth shape is going to have to change a lot. 
and then something that's cool it's going to be really neat when we get into like sculpting in these uh these ex the, the expression lines around the uh brows and everything it's going to be super cool uh what chat am i reading uh, uh the chat this chat right here guys <laughs> Yeah, I keep you guys I keep you guys up and in the forefront so that way it's uh it's easy for me to look over. Um Tell us about the cool things. <laughs> um but yeah, so like a full production model can take a while to build. Um so none of it's going to be happening uh very quickly. At all. <laughs> At all. Uh, we need to get that. We need to get this kind of kind of crease building in here some. get this little bit of the nose in there too like make it so that it's its own poly group yeah, let's go ahead and control w for that and make sure that this works sweet that's exactly what i wanted okay and the reason i wanted this is that then i can go ahead and control just that part of the nose control where that's aligning. Let's go ahead and tweak some of this. Yeah, some of this topology is going to get super stretched and, and it, that's fine. That's expected. into this uh, this corner of the mouth like going through and refining that is uh, it's gonna be a little bit of work but it's not gonna be too too bad I'll kind of show you how uh, how I go about that here in a minute Go through and play with that. Hey, how you doing, Leonard? I'm gonna kind of refine this uh, mouth bag here a little bit. Oh, in fact, let's use the move topological because that'll be. A little bit better. Oh yeah, <laughs> these teeth aren't complete. It's just the front, it's just the facade. So I'm gonna to need to do something different for teeth. Uh, let me see, I'll have to think of a character that I can go in and steal him from. <laughs> okay, these lips are making kind of the wrong curve. So let's invert that curve. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Doing these extreme sort of poses are, this is way more complicated than doing like simple smiles or uh, yeah, like that there are, there are expressions like extreme anger or flirtation or um, anything where you're stretching the face a lot. Um, 
those are always more difficult and complicated to do. Let's go ahead and just kind of pull this out and then we'll kind of make everything else fit into it. But this way I can at least control the points of just the mouth and make sure that this works. And then I can clean everything else up around it really pretty simply, pretty easily. Oh, come here, you. This little point right here. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and kind of pull this down and around, pull that down and around. Cool. Yeah, this is starting to work. The uh, the thing that you just gotta you just gotta keep being patient with it, right? <laughs> it's all about the patience. anybody wants this head base mesh I'm pretty sure I have it available somewhere um, if not I will probably make it available on my art station store or flipped normals um, the topology flow is based off of what I've learned um working at other studios you know so i've i've used is and it's simplified from what i've learned at other studios um like for instance the the dreamworks model has like some they always have like the eyebrows kind of built in um and i like that but i don't particularly like sculpting on that it works well for rigging i don't particularly care for it for uh for sculpting um there's uh stuff that I learned from from Sergi Caballer at Disney. Um he's incredible. If you guys want a really good character modeler to follow, um he's one to to check out. He's from Spain, but he's a he's a character uh, modeling supervisor over at Disney Animation right now. Absolutely incredible, stellar artist, um, and he's he's awesome because he's not just great artistically, but he's also great uh, technically. So that's really cool. Oops. That lip needs to be turned down. Let me see. Let's do the rotation bit here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is stretched across the middle here, point to point. And I'm going to hold Alt and just rotate on that central point right there. And this little bit needs to be kind of pulled on some. Let's kind of smooth that out a little bit. So there are a lot of things that I still need to do kind of around the eyes to make this expression work. Um, but the uh, a lot of the stuff happening down around the mouth is starting to work now. So that's good. Let's do something a little bit more extreme with the neck.
think I've lost track of this the of the uh, scroll. There are different divisions of making a character like base modeler, make the sculpt. Uh, so usually it's it's like some sort of lead or supervisor or someone that that handles uh, creating the base mesh. Um, you know, in in our case right now at Marvel, uh, because I'm working on the episodic stuff for uh, for Disney Plus, uh, we have a vendor that we're working with that a little June bug flying around in the tree over there. Um, we have a vendor that we're working with who will be doing like the final rigs. So we're using the base mesh that they requested uh, we use. Um, which has been kind of nice. I mean, I, I'd show you, but I'd have to kill you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 been uh, it's been a pretty nice mesh to work with. Uh, I've enjoyed it. perspective is a little extreme. Let's go ahead and chill it back a little bit. She needs a tongue. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so Sergi, let me let me write down Sergi Cavallier from Disney feature animation. He has all sorts of cool resources. Let me see if I can send you guys a good uh, a good link. I'm pretty sure he's actually on here. Let me see. There he is. I mean, you can see some of the characters that he's worked on, things that he's uh, sculpted, and things that he's done. He's incredible. You know, this he's got his uh, this roller derby girl that he modeled, and has this. Uh, in fact, let me let me send you guys his his art station because that's useful. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, about I thought that he had his store up here. Maybe he doesn't. <clears throat> Oh, he has it available on his Gumroad, it looks like. So like, if you wanted to be able to get to that and be able to check it out, it's on his uh, his Gumroad page. Uh, this model is insanely tight. It's very clean, very lovely, beautifully designed model. Um, you can see like everything is very, very nicely modeled and, and very cool, clean topology. Um, this is an insanely beautiful standard to uh, hold your own work to. Um, I would totally, you know, find models like this by character artists like Sergi Cavallier, like Dylan Ekren, like uh, Alina Wooten. Sorry, Alina. Alina. Oh my goodness. Loftus. <laughs> I was like, what's Corey's last name? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> um, you know, any any of those guys are just insanely talented and, and very skilled, very, very clean, clean work. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, they're just some of my favorite people to follow. Really super, super incredible artists. Um... Yeah, before he he worked in Spain and did a lot of characters for like <laughs> different shows there, and th they're really fun to look through too. Um, I won't dive into that right now just because you know I'm trying to do my own thing, but but yeah, really 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 cool. Let me see. Let me see if I can get this nose shape to feel a little bit better now. Yeah, 
this nose is a little bit different from the one that I'm working with at work but it'll still work for me um, the one that I that I have at work has like the uh, the laugh lines come up and around and then they terminate in the nose uh, so you're able to kind of use that to create creases and so like I, I kind of want to go through and modify my base mesh at some point um, to be able to have that instead so I've kind of enjoyed that this and push this over just to get a nice sharp transition for the nostril here uh, for the for that top of the nostril there I start getting the brow kind of worked in here because there are some things that happen with like the uh, with that top with that uh, that eyebrow hood <laughs> uh, where it's like that skin gets kind of pushed around a little bit um, so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to grab just that ring right now and we're going to kind of push this down some I can't believe it's Saturday. It doesn't feel like it should be Saturday. Why is it Saturday? Okay, I'll pull this one down. Okay, so now that we've got that kind of laid in there, this is going to make it a lot easier for me to get the right forms when I bring the rest of this down. Um, it's kind of prep a little bit of it down here at the bottom and then we'll take the the actual brow corner here oops missed one let's grab this two something like that we'll kind of bring this over a little bit again this is all kind of like prep work for when we're actually going to to get the expression started here so what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to actually add let's turn that off because we don't need that on um, I want to add an extra subdivision level. Right now we're at subdivision level two, and it's still really, uh, you know, it's still it's still really low, but it's it's a little bit too low for what I need to be able to do at this moment. Um, so this is where I start to actually add resolution. Um, I won't add more than just one step here. This is messy. I want to try to clean up some of these little areas before I up res because if I up res before I clean it up it'll be just a little bit messy when it's and, and uh, it'll be a little bit trickier to actually clean it and get rid of issues so yeah kind of putting that in right there something like that Uh, yeah, this month, uh, Leonard, yeah, I'll be on um, the rest of the Saturday is this month, which is fun and exciting. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do a different 
character each week. Um, I've been I've been feeling kind of a lot of. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure quite what the what the feeling is. I mean, a lot of people would probably say anxiety. Um, I displeasure. I'll say displeasure with the way things are going <laughs> in society. <laughs> And so I, I want to try to push for women's voices by you know, just including like positive, influential women in my sculpts instead of doing, you know, fictional characters or, or uh, you know, even working on my own, like, a, like I was doing last time, I was doing that uh, personal self-portrait of, you know, myself as Spider-Man sort of thing. Um, which is still, you know, it's still a, a very positive thing. It's just that I want to do something that's more giving a voice, you know, trying to help support female voices, if that makes sense. So that's, that's kind of what I'll, what I'll be, what I'll be doing, uh, the rest of the month. This week is is Serena Williams, uh, very powerful and and uh, you know um, you know female athlete, tennis player. I need to get this to be up more. So that's kind of the the hope and, and the idea. Okay, let's kind of invert that, soften that out. We're just gonna kinda Oh, you know what? I need to. It looks like her um that space underneath her eyes, that uh the bags under her eyes are a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna do this. And see, kind of like they get they get tighter up around, especially around the corners up here. turn off those eyelashes for a minute it makes such a difference oh my gosh and let's go ahead and kind of tighten this up up here it's becoming a little bit too a little bit too tight smooth that out so that it's not so bunched up <laughs> okay we'll just kind of pull this up and in a little bit more yeah kind of crazy It, I don't know why it's being super laggy. It's it's really kind of driving me nuts, actually. <clears throat> um, usually, I can I can you know pinpoint some sort of reason for there being so much lag, 
but uh good golly okay, let's go ahead and grab this and we'll pull this up just to get a little bit more <coughs> And then we'll pull the cheek up too, just to just to kind of eliminate some of the eyelid and to kind of heighten some of that expression. We gotta check forms, make sure this isn't totally dying here. Do the relaxing smooth, the alternate smooth. Just to kind of even out that form some. much much better that's much closer okay let's see what's next you're talking about the the brow you're talking about the uh, the creases around the brow so let's go ahead and let's dig into that here in a minute Let me see. No, there isn't really too much history. I mean, look, this is like, I mean, it's it's just 1,300 undos. <laughs> like, it went from that <laughs> to that. Um, I do need to replace the teeth. I do need to save. Okay, let me see. Let's come over down to the Serena folder. Serena underscore O one. It's kind of fun how she has the, those uh, those heart earrings. She also has like a stud up in her left ear. Uh, I need to add those at some point. Uh, it doesn't have to be right now, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, yeah, these brows are definitely like too thick. Let's go ahead and grab this and kind of pull it down and in a little bit. And then maybe jump back over to the face topology, and we'll start kind of playing with the with the creases. Some um, first thing I want to do. Let's go ahead and add one more level of resolution here. And what I want to do is I want to grab, boom, 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 like that. Kind of start pulling that down and in. Um, I want to use that. Well, I, okay. So, so the reason I'm I'm pulling this five pointed star into it is that I'm trying to, in essence, hide the uh, the five pointed star. Um, it should also help to create a sense of plane change and style and corner sharpness and things like that. So it's it's all kind of a, a stylistic choice. Um, so yeah, 
typically like five pointed stars type of type of stuff you want to be careful about how they're popping up in your like how and where they're popping up in your <laughs> in your models um, because they will totally mess up with your sculpting they'll mess with your really everything it's it's really kind of a mess but it's something that you want to be in control of all this through here needs to get kind of smoothed out some oops yeah, let's soften it once and I'm just going to mask this out manually boom get a little bit of that uh, crease build up in here the kids are being so crazy right now <laughs> So there's one, and I want to add another one kind of right below it. Let's go ahead. I'm going to lower that intensity just a little bit. Let's grab that. Kind of pull this in. And then I'm going to take this other side and just kind of pull it out. Fix that form a little bit there. Feels something. Something feels very. Uh, oh, I guess it's like the the top lip is feeling a little bit too. Uh, a little bit too dominant. So got to kind of thin it out some. this mouth bag around a little bit. <coughs> we definitely have to get the right teeth in here because that these teeth are not going to work for me. Um, I, one of the things that's super cool that I'm noticing about, you know, let me let me turn the opacity up a little bit, is like her her lip has like that very intentional or like that very defined um, shape even when when it's kind of stretched so what I'm gonna do let's kind of pull this out a little bit and I want to try to get this to be maybe a little bit sharper than it is in in uh, in real life but still let it be and kind of pull it back and in a little bit. I'm going to 
go ahead and grab this. Let's grab that paintbrush and kind of paint the inside of this in a little bit. That's that's too brown. And let's grab something more like this. Cause that'll at least feel a little bit more natural. Okay. Man, that does not feel like Serena Williams. <laughs> feels cool it just doesn't feel like Serena Williams I think it's I think a lot of it has to do with kind of how this neck is come on There's something. Let's go get some good teeth because the the teeth is something that's going to be important to making this work um, oh yeah the eyelashes let's bring the eyelashes back because that changes how she looks quite a bit <laughs> um, with her extreme expression there like that's pushing that eye anatomy up a little bit so let's uh I noticed problems the other night while streaming a show. Audio was out of sync. I feel like the internet is having problems. We were having issues with somebody uh, at work with their uh, with their Zoom. Like it was, in fact, it looks like there's something weird happening. I noticed there's a lag with the, uh, with Streamlabs right now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um. What's the difference between move top move topology and regular move? So move topology. Uh, easiest way for me to show you. Let's use let's use the hair as an example because this is all just one subtool, but there are two pieces. So if I use the move brush, you see it's moving both pieces. But if you're using move topological is moving just the one. Move topological is going to affect um, <clears throat> move topological is only going to affect things that are connected by topology uh, but move is just it's just move so it's going to move anything that's within the brush radius um, so I like to use it a lot for instances where I'm doing things like uh, um, like fingers if because fingers are super close together, it's it's much easier to control the forms on one finger if I'm trying to use the move to, uh, move topological. Um, let's go ahead and kind of bring this in, see what that does for us. Um, Yeah, and then, uh, but if I'm trying to move everything together, you know, it's it's nice to be able to just use the move. So like for instance, like with the lips, I'll often use move topological because that way I'm, if I'm working on one side of the, of the mouth, um, 
I don't have to worry about affecting the bottom lip as much. Like the bottom lip, if I'm working on the bottom lip, I don't have to worry about affecting the top lip as much, right? So it's it's just kind of a kind of a nice uh, just kind of a nice tool to uh, to play with. I super recommend experimenting with it and see kind of how it works for you. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, that's uh, it's been insanely helpful for me. Let's go ahead and oh you know what she's always wearing like like hoop earrings i should totally uh give her hoop earrings <laughs> well because she's not she's not wearing hoop earrings in these pictures and she's not going to wear them when she's uh playing tennis obviously right but Let's go ahead. I'm going to do a couple of things before I try to find actual teeth. I just want to try to see if I can get any kind of proportion input. Because so far... Okay, so here's something that I'm going to want to do. Let's grab the bottom of that jaw. Kind of pull on it a little bit further. Here's another instance where we could use the move topological to kind of move the teeth not affect the other teeth of course we need to get the other teeth kind of set up okay something kind of like that kind of like boost her chin shape a little bit here I kind of want to play with her head shape a little bit this is this is where I'm going to start kind of designing some because I feel like there are some cool things like there's some cool energy here and it's got this really cool kind of swoop going in around there and I feel like I don't have that. Um, at least not quite as... Quite as nice. Grab our standard brush. I'm just going to kind of build up some of these things down around here. Let's build up the muscles that are kind of coming in between the cheek and the nose here. What's nice is that we'll be able to take the uh, the topology here and to be able to kind of boost this, like like push this in just a little bit to create a sense of a crease. Let's take this down a little bit too here. But let's see if we can leave this uh, this purple kind of untouched so that it keeps that flow from there so there's that and now we just need to add another kind of subtle form over her nose here so you can see like she's got a little bit of like a like a build up of that muscle kind of coming over the top of her nose so I'm going to say control shift s kind of 
pull that out some. Maybe not so much like to, to influence the center so much. Let's take this over here a little bit further, just kind of. It's here. It's in your way, you know, crack. It's always a bit of like experimentation when you're trying to sculpt these things out. And that's fine. That feels a little bit too strong, kind of coming over her nose like that. And I think that I want it to make kind of a slightly different, have like a slightly different curve to it. Let's get a little bit more into that. That might be a little bit too much, let's say. Ah, oh, auto save came in right at the <laughs> How am I going to do the curly hair? That is a that is an insane question. Um, one that I'm not prepared to answer quite yet. <laughs> um, I was thinking about using fiber mesh. Um, my friend Marlon has this really cool, like, uh, like Afro curl, um, base, uh, fiber mesh. <clears throat> She needs shoulder. That's kind of part of what's. Let's see if we can get some good shape for her shoulders here. Because she's got like these insane shoulders. Like being this rock star tennis player, she's like shoulder. some of this kind of sculpt this in a little bit just so that we have a little bit more of like a presence of these uh, <coughs> other muscles on her on her neck feel like I'm, I'm missing like so much here let me see let's kind of sculpt some of that out a little bit 
bit too much. Let's use that clay brush. Cause this one's pretty nice. Has a nice like gentle dig, gentle add. This is one that I see uh, Raphael Grissetti using all the freaking time, and I mean I I like to use it for certain things. but definitely this is one of them. Let me see if I can get that going, that going. Let me see, I'm getting the wrong shapes up here. So I'm gonna try to deal some of this. Let me see if I can. Cause like she has like this, like her hair kind of peaks up here and kind of comes down here. But I don't know if that's like, like she's kind of pulling her hair forward or if that's where her hair is actually originating from. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of tricky to tell for sure. She's got like this really cool. Let's go through and add some of this uh, color here. So you can color pick from your um, from your spotlight images by you know, like having spotlight active. And then, uh, and then coming in and just kind of, you know, see, just hover over your image and hit C. Uh, it's super, super helpful. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. I mean, some of some of what I'm trying to keep in. Um, keep in mind is that some of this color, the color information in, an, in a picture is going to be affected by the, uh, uh, what's it called? By the lighting, by the lighting of the image. You know what, I think I kind of want to take, oops, shoot, don't do that. And so it's like I try to I try to find when I'm trying to sample a uh, a picture for for colors. I'm trying to go to spots in the picture where it feels like it's a middle tone instead of a highlight, not a shadow, not a not a not a highlight, but a but a mid tone. I try to pick from those areas. So places where it's like, you know, like you can see kind of right here along the, the, the ridge of the cheek or like right here or like, <laughs> cause like if you go underneath the cheek, that's shadow. If you go on top, it's affected by whatever spotlights are kind of hitting her face. So it's really kind of, kind of tricky. Um, uh, there's so much going on here and I have, So little time left. Not that I'm like pressured to get off. It's just <laughs> I have I have to get back to the day. Um, I feel like this isn't right. So I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, let's come over here. Let's fill this with material. I 
it might just be like maybe the eyes are too big the nose doesn't feel like it's pulled as much as it could be do something kind of like that Uh, that kind of helped a little bit. Yeah, I kind of liked having the, the brows down. It just made it feel a little bit more intense, a little bit more uh, true to the emotion. I don't know, what do you guys think? The brows, I think, for her are going to be a little bit tricky. It's like I'm trying to I'm trying to just reference things and check things and double check things and let me see she does have like some sort of like eyeshadow to her eye so maybe that could be something that could uh, benefit. this all the way up oh not eyebrows stinker ooh that's kind of cool So here's where we get to start to blend kind of some of these colors and it just kind of comes in to kind of color picking between gradients and, and deciding whether or not it's too muddy. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too dark. Let's see, it's going to pull that in. That's a little bit too much, so let's kind of tone that back with a little bit more of that cheek color. And that cheek color, I think, needs a little bit more yellow. Oops. Let's kind of add that in here. So I'm going to take some of these colors and try to kind of blend and fill in. And now keep in mind, these are all supposed to be just color. You know, this is, you know, let's kind of fill in. Some of this, just so that as we're looking at it, it's not as weird. Block that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we don't need any advertising for adult dating sites. It's stupid. Unless you're an adult that needs dating, but you know. I'm going to try pulling that part of the brow forward just a smidge. Just to give her a little bit more roundness to her forehead. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think that might be pulling that into the right direction. I think that with the eyebrows, if I were to give it that's what's wrong okay so RGB this is what I'm wanting uh, color fill this just like a couple of times or something like that you know what less orange more green I guess let's let's try this <clears throat> just to kind of shift it a little bit It's not too bad. We'll keep it for now. I think this lip shape needs a little bit of a tweak. And then I want to take the... Uh, now oh, this will be a good instance for using the move topological for, for whoever was asking about it earlier, <laughs> where I'm trying to uh, use that bottom or, you know, uh, edit the one side of that eyelid and not affect the other. Let's turn off those eyelashes again for a second. Then we'll turn the eyelashes back on. But yeah, back back to the theme of the hair. Um, if I don't end up doing it, um, let's do this and then move it kind of more toward the blue side. Um, if I don't end up doing it, um, If I don't end up doing it with uh, with the fiber mesh, I may very possibly end up doing it with um, just geometry, which is very typical for me. <laughs> We'll have to see. We'll have to see kind of um, what feels right. Hey, gorgeous. Thank you, Hannibal. Yeah, I I feel like there ought to be more. Um, and I have a, a kind of a lineup of characters, well, characters of uh, people <laughs> that I want to uh, uh, be able to sculpt that do have kind of like a natural diversity to them and I, I, I certainly appreciate seeing other people do it as well um, 
so it's it's one of those things that I feel like people need better representation right now. I'm I'm trying to push for <clears throat> women in general. Um, Serena Williams is is one of those that's you know she's amazing. She's super super cool. Um, and I feel like I, I mean I'll probably get into like. Uh, Uh, like Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, um, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, <laughs> AOC. <laughs> um, because you know, I feel like I super appreciate what it is that she pushes for in Congress, um, and, and you know, I've got other people that I'll try to try to push through and, and do in my um, in my streams as well because I feel like like there's oh, a soccer player what, what's her name I forgot her name um, Megan Rapinoe um, I feel like her efforts in going and trying to uh, equalize pay for you know the female soccer team versus the male soccer team you know I think that was awesome and you know they were successful they were successful and I think that that's a big deal I feel like people need to be like it, I don't I don't feel like it's it's fair for <laughs> for a man to be paid the same or, or uh, for a man to be paid more for doing the same job and the same work um, as also the same you know with uh, racial equality and uh, yeah I feel like all these things you know celebrating people who who are incredible and who um, have tried to make things better for other people. I think that that's a big deal. I think it's important and I think we need to celebrate more uh, more of those sorts of people, you know, people who who have gone and <clears throat> achieved great things even, you know, <laughs> being being a woman in a man's sport, you know, she she helped pave the way to be able to make things better for you know, for women who who are pulling into into tennis and and uh, I think it's important to celebrate that. Let's go ahead and kind of pull that forward just a little bit. Her features feel too Caucasian, though. I'm trying to well that, and I guess it like the the way that that mouth shape is too it doesn't feel quite right not enough snarl to it like like the the eyelashes might be a little bit much too <laughs> let's see if we can pull this in some rein it in some But yeah, representation is important. Got to celebrate people. And celebrate the right people, right? <laughs> Let's see if we can get the peak in her nose. It feels like there's like a little bit of more of like a, like a peak to her. No, 
so the forms coming in here a little bit different than what I was expecting or than what I was reading earlier so let's see if we can okay I'm going to see about let's kind of push this in a little bit like that that feels a little bit better I just feel like something's like super super because it's like with her with her brows it's like we've got like this this more like an up angle but with this I've got more of a down angle so maybe it's more of a <laughs> I will likely kind of go back and forth on this eyebrow shape quite a bit kind of pull this up a little bit maybe ooh that's starting to feel a little bit better ah oh, who'd have thought okay let's play with that some see let's see how we like this The shelf like fall off from the teeth can be enhanced if you want to push mood. It rides the line of the eye. <clears throat> Not a hundred percent sure um, what it is that you're referring to. Um, <clears throat> this back up and let's see about okay so that, that is the highest level right now let's let's enhance some of the uh, some of the shapes here with this uh, base mesh after having used the one that I'm working on now the more I want to go through and kind of uh, kind of make a new base mesh <laughs> something kind of like this yeah it's a little bit too round yeah let's go ahead and kind of kind of pull that in pull that in something like that cool this needs to be kind of pulled back a little bit I think That's better. Oh, there's so much to like consider and play around with and oops, other way. Invert, there we go. Give a little bit more of a of an angle there, I think. Help 
personne. I want to try to make this a little bit more plainer. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this. And kind of move this in just a smidge. again let's actually take the uh, take this ridge and kind of enhance it by pulling on it we'll invert it and then we'll kind of pull everything else the opposite direction just a little bit that way we try to keep a little bit of that volume consistent and that gives us a little bit more form and, and uh, interest through there the thing that I'm looking at, that I'm feeling kind of intrigued by, is that I feel like I'm not getting enough of like a of like a swoop up into the um, <clears throat> uh, a swoop up into the top of that crani cranium shape there. I have a question. Do you know a good process to make clothes that look pretty realistic and usable for animation without needing to use Marvelous Designer? Yes, but I won't be getting into into clothing at all this stream. I'm already kind of uh, at the end of my <laughs> at the end of my time. It's already eleven o'clock. Holy cow! Um, but yes, actually, if you're if you're interested in checking out clothing um, now bear with me here I mean I know this sounds kind of kind of funny I have this this course here that I uh, created for character creation uh, it doesn't have pictures let me see let me, let me grab the pictures on flip normals. Uh, I'm not going to log in. Um, you're going to search. You're going to search for my thing. Okay. So in this course, let me show you the pictures because I know that I have the pictures here. Um, I do go through some clothing creating techniques, you know, where I, I talk about creating topology, where I talk about creating um you know in, in a couple different ways too um stuff that's clean and ready to be rigged and animated um because you know that's that's what i do that's what i like so right now it looks like um there's a marketplace sale on art station so if you're interested in coming and checking that out now is a good time to do that and you can find that there at that link. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really fun. It goes through the full process, the whole sculpt, um, you know, based off of a, based off of a concept, uh, gets the full, the full topology for the full character. You can see this is the sculpt and then I do the topology over the top. Um, I even do blend shapes to be able to show different facial expressions and how to cut and key for engineering for 3D printing. Um, so yeah, it's it's really neat. It's a really great course. Um, talks about the full spectrum, so it's it's really good and it's a great deal. So especially right now, as it's as it's uh, <laughs> looks like it's on on sale on the ArtStation marketplace. So so go check it out. It's a very good opportunity right there. 
Um, it's the exact same course that I teach at Noman in Hollywood. So, um, so yeah, I recommend it because why wouldn't I, right? <laughs> okay, let me see. good it's fun I really enjoy doing this sort of stuff and so being able to being able to teach it being able to show it and uh, yeah, being able to make a make a living off of it it's uh, it's 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 really neat I'm grateful to be able to have that opportunity If I were to take this, rotate it up. to feel a little bit more well, I guess part of what I could do to make this feel a little bit more Serena is you know give her the two-tone hair that feels pretty cool so let's go ahead let's just color pick from there ah oh, it needs to be more saturated want to know whether I start learning to sketch to grow my observation skills or should I stick with daily ZBrush speed sculpts uh, both are always helpful sketching like you're talking about like sketching in a sketchbook like drawing um, drawing is great because it it forces you to really start to think <laughs> in ways that uh, You know, it's it's just it's it's always helpful to to be able to to think and to ooh, that's really out there. Uh, I don't want that coming back so far. Because, yeah, anything you can do to kind of improve your ability to observe and your ability to, it's like, this is, this is why, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to go through and do a series kind of like this, where it's just like I'm trying to pick off uh, these, you know, key attributes, but not by absolutely matching, you know, exact one-to-one -one everything <laughs> um yeah i just really want to get better with my observational um everything so yeah this this it's a great exercise to be able to do something like that So yeah, I, I, I recommend both. Um, I feel like this sort of exercise is great, but there's also definitely um, a big need 
you know, to just to just learn how to observe. So so it's so if you decide to use sketching, that's great. It's a great tool. Uh, if you decide to use clay, it's also great. It works really really well. Um, anything anything that helps you to learn how to see, uh, even if it's just photography. Um, you can learn a lot from from taking photographs and and being able to, you know, figure out things with composition or figure out things with, uh, you know, color combos and uh, lighting and form just by just by actively watching them. So yeah, I I definitely recommend those sorts of activities. I like sketchbooking, using the iPad, uh, drawing from life, uh, sketching from the imagination, doing draw this in your style challenges. Those are insanely helpful uh, because you get to use somebody else's idea uh, with their permission and <laughs> and be able to kind of invent based off of what you see. So it's yeah, it's insanely helpful. I love it, love it, love it, love it. trying to get to a point myself to be honest I'm pretty good at anatomy now but I'm just starting to dive into clothing and stuff like that honestly I don't feel like buying marvelous because <laughs> I bought any program that I find up ending broke uh, I'll end up being broke yeah I totally get it I totally get it um, and especially with the way that everything has been changing to like a subscription model um, like I feel like that's definitely the easiest way for a company to make money is to charge everybody a subscription. Um, but I feel like if they're going to be, you know, industry standard and they're charging money to companies for licenses, you know, they should be able to make it, you know, one-time purchase for individual users and still be just fine. Um, I feel like that's something really cool about what Pixelogic had done for 20 years, you know? <laughs> you know, I, I had bought my... <clears throat> I had bought my uh, license of ZBrush uh, well, 10, 12 years ago? 10 years ago. And haven't had to pay for an upgrade yet. And it's been amazing. Um, but then there their money came from companies who were doing their license upgrades um, and new sub and new new license purchases hey Jace how you doing dude <coughs> so yeah it's 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 uh, it's kind of crazy, but there will be things like I mean, you know, Adobe, like I need Adobe to be able to do stuff, <laughs> you know, uh, whether that be stuff that I'm doing for the classes that I teach or yeah, I need to close her eyes a little bit more.
something kind of like this. Let's see if that works. I'm going to need to fix those eyebrows, but it's... Uh, I'm going to need to do something with this, too. Let me see. Let's do... and then smooth it out some. I'm just trying to get like the anatomy to be more correct in there. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely don't support uh, pirated versions. <laughs> um, I think one of the nice things is that there are a lot of uh, uh, cheaper versions or cheaper software that still gets you the job done. I mean, like Blender's free. You know, so like if you can't afford Maya, then that's one of those things. Um, Adobe stuff though, that's that's the tricky one because there really isn't a real comparative um, like any software that really compares to that. Um, there's stuff that does stuff that's similar, but it's just. It's so much the standard that <laughs> it's hard to find anything that's actually <laughs> comparable. Um, with, I mean, even with ZBrush, you kind of have, you know, the cheaper versions where it's, um, you've got ZBrush Core, or if you can't afford it at all, you know, there's ZBrush Core Mini. Um, so you can just get started, kind of get your feet wet, see if it's something that you're, um, something that you can use. Um, and it's kind of round that out a little bit. Um, track of where I was going with that, but that's okay. Go ahead and do something like that. That's a little bit better. She has like this indent on the. Oh, that was too much there, I think. Kind of here. Where the skin's kind of relaxing. Yeah, I need to get better with, with these sorts of anatomical cues because they're like just these super simple little things that happen in the skin and it's <laughs> that's kind of weird <laughs> yeah let's go let's go ahead and find some real teeth now because uh, we're gonna need it uh, let's go to Lady Liberty because she's got some decent teeth terrible feet, but she's got decent teeth. Yeah, 
let's go ahead, we'll say insert gums, insert, oh, you know what, let's say append. We'll just take these gums, we'll put them to the bottom here so that they're all together. Um, the teeth are going to need to be adjusted so that they're the right shape, but you know, at least it's kind of there. Append the tongue, the teeth bottom. Okay, so there's kind of the start for that. Hey, darling. So let's make another group here. Make sure that all this is inside of that group. And what is the... Ah. Go ahead and say transpose set. And we'll bring that down. It looks like in the very least, it looks like it's you know pretty well centered. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and take this. The bottom teeth are like way too big, but we'll uh, we'll fix them here in a minute. <laughs> that. Let's turn off these teeth. Let's just kind of see how it's fitting in. It looks like it needs to be changed to something kind of more like that. Her canines are not that sharp, so let's kind of subdue those a little bit. And these second teeth here feels like they're a little bit smaller. Let's kind of push and pull that around a little bit until it feels about right. I guess we're just gonna to have to do it asymmetrically because that's how it's coming together. <laughs> Oops, too much, too much. Okay, there we go. And then these bottom teeth are like way too big. What the hell? Um, let me see. Yeah, not gonna lie, I hate subscription based on based programs like at least offer the choice to buy a lifetime purchase of a specific version without free updates beside the ones uh of that year. Yeah. Uh, for example, substance on stream. Yeah, you can buy a lifetime purchase of a specific version. Yeah, you used to be able to on 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 Steam. Yeah, that's that's true. I think that those all expired now because my version, my uh, my license there expired. Like it's not even available to me anymore. I don't think. I bought ZBrush because I couldn't open files for my teammates, which affected deadlines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely an investment, and that's that's why I keep it. And that's why I keep doing it. Um, definitely, um, probably the best way to look at it. Pull 
pull some of this around. That feels much, 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 much better. So now we gotta do let's grab these this gum piece right here and I'm trying to yeah I guess I guess we'll keep it all together that's fine turn that off actually actually let's uh Oh, where did it go? There we go. Good grief. I want it. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to grab. Oh, not those. We'll leave those still. And then just kind of open up the mouth. It won't be perfect because, I mean, there's not enough teeth in there. But it should hopefully be enough to just fake it. <laughs> to some extent, that's what you got to do, right? You just got to put in enough for people to be like, oh, yeah, I know what I'm looking at. go in here and it's kind of expand out these this mouth bag so that I don't have to worry about it penetrating with all the things and now we can take the tongue and we can kind of modify that so that it fits more of the shape looking at here Man, I've been going for a while I haven't stood I haven't had anything to drink <laughs> haven't had breakfast <laughs> These teeth are like too white, so we want to modify them so that they are not. <laughs> texture map. Let's turn off the texture and we will say. Let's get it this like the slight kind of like yellow orange, whatever. Um how do you transpose set? Uh so you go up you have your folders and you just come up into the gear and you can say transpose set. Um, like for instance, right now that would, that would select the, the teeth, the gums, the, the tongue. The only terrible thing about that water that I had from yesterday is that it just tastes like freezer ice. It's so bad. <laughs> um, and the nice thing about doing this is that, you know, for instance, I have the gums uh, masked in part so that the top part stays still. Um, and so all I had to do to be able to make sure that, you know, like for instance, I wanted the top teeth to stay still, I can just control shift tap on that and I can blip, 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 blip. Super nice, it's super nice. Yeah, I love, I love ZBrush. You know what? This lip. I'm just gonna pull it up. I 
I do. I mean, I'm I'm trying to decide whether to keep kind of like this more cartoony, exaggerated, like, because it just it makes her feel more angry, and I don't want her to feel angry. But it does feel more more appealing to have. some of this kind of oh it's going to have a texture on it too ah oh, nerds oh i forgot to actually color the teeth <laughs> adding a little smile to her eyes yeah it's the hard thing is because like there's there's more more of like an intensity to the eyes than there is like a It's a little bit too, too pink. That feels a little bit better. Do something like that. And we'll say new from poly paint. That way it's just going to stay, <laughs> just going to stay that color. Um, sort of color here you know what let's give it something a little bit darker a little bit more saturated especially for the back of the mouth because we want that area to kind of just fall into darkness <laughs> you know pretty well the teeth need to be kind of a little bit well let's let's go ahead let's select the tooth color let's make it a little orange a little bit darker RGB all the way up. It's kind of interesting to me to see that it's let's kind of fill that in a little bit so that it has a little bit more of like a like a depth to it. Just kind of helps to darken in the back of the mouth. New from poly paint. Same thing for the bottom teeth. Let's go ahead and fill that in. And then we'll just go ahead and do the same thing like what we did with the other ones. We'll just kind of give ourselves a little bit more of like a kind of an occlusion sort of color. That way it feels like they're going back into the back of the mouth more. And actually we could go darker. We get it to be a little bit more That's a little bit too much. If 
fact, I wonder if maybe it might be better to have like a warmer color. Yeah, it's not bad. New from Poly Paint. Already did that. Already did that. But this one, this one could use some. Uh, And some. <laughs> New from Poly Paint. So, yeah, that'll be all right. don't know that I like that particular color right there so let's see let's let's go ahead let's try to change it some let's see grab that color let's, let's try something like this more red nah, tampoco let's try color picking it and see what it gives us and maybe it's just a matter of going through and doing something like super painterly and kind of exploring that some I might do here with the eyes let's kind of pull them <laughs> this is not a uh, nailed the eyes yeah absolutely nailed the eyes <laughs> I am going to try something real quick here Let's turn off the reference for a second here. Oh shoot. I hate that button. Let's try to take the symmetry off. And here's what I want to do is I want to take the transform and instead of mirror symmetry, I'm going to turn that off so that way I can get them to turn the same way. Something like this, maybe. 
Let's grab the clip curve. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> oh shoot. Let's grab. I feel like I'm like getting into a zone and I'm not uh <laughs> I'm not chatting. <laughs> thoughts on sea beast on netflix that's a loaded question i feel like well, it was like a lot of the people that worked on sea beast worked on how to train your dragon and i just felt like the red sea beast was red toothless <laughs> and there are a lot of similarities kind of going between uh the two shows in that sort of way um did like the film i liked it i i thought i felt like it was fun the kids love it they've watched it several times we went and saw a pre-screening of it um they really yeah they they've really super enjoyed it um they've watched it a couple of times since it came out on netflix yesterday too so it's you know it, it is as it is right um it's uh but yeah, I feel like I feel like it was a, it was a fun film. It was, it was it was well done. I do feel like um, I do feel like the and I don't know like like when you're trying to teach a message through a film you do to some extent have to spell it out really clearly if you want your message to come across really clearly um i do kind of wish that there had been more of like a a natural revealing of what the actual message was instead of being like a and they uh and they stopped hunting monsters you know <laughs> I don't know. It was just kind of interesting from that standpoint. Um, but it was fun. I liked it. We had fun. My wife liked it more than she thought she was going to. <laughs> Pull on some of these areas here be able to really kind of dig in and build out these uh these structures i feel like there's supposed to be some sort of Slight bit more red. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'm just trying to like get some shuttle, shuttle, <laughs> get some subtle hue shifts uh, in here because I feel like there are some subtle hue shifts in in her skin which are really, really cool, and it's just so hard to get really good reference uh, because of, you know, because of how specular her skin is and because of how, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of tricky. Yeah, 
yeah, tennis players definitely put a lot of uh, exertion into their celebration, definitely coming from their core. this to be a little bit less muddy let's see if we can warm it up some that's ah, a little bit better I like that somewhat better That got all messy. Here, let's come in here and let's fix this uh, bit with the eyebrow lash, or not, uh, eyelid area here. Cool. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. gonna give her a little bit of like as if her makeup's kind of run a little bit over the course of her match and you know honestly she doesn't really do a whole lot of a whole lot of eyeshadow so maybe I need to cut that back some I mean, it's like all the pictures that, that we were looking at, they don't really have a ton of it. They just had a little bit of possibly just eyeliner. Just eyeliner kind of going in around her, uh, around her eye there. It does seem like her bottom eyelid needs to be a little bit darker though. So let's see what we can see what we can get in here that's yeah, not bad more yellow a little bit brighter That's like way too, no, I don't like that. It's just like yeah, let's go through let's see if we can just kind of highlight that and just kind of pump it out some ah tissue some of this color kind of coming in with the head or with the ear sorry <laughs> let's 
it's always kind of interesting to see just these subtle variations in skin tone, the way that the color and the hue shift and Not sure that I, I'm not sure how I feel about uh, the profile view. So maybe it's just a matter of like never showing the profile view. <laughs> thing is, is that I just didn't I didn't give her enough uh, research to be able to um, uh, to be able to, to really do her justice It makes me feel a little bit, uh... <laughs> oh, you like the eyes? The eyes are super hard. Um, in fact, I keep looking at it and thinking that maybe I need to pull in the outside corners or something. I think that these, uh, these eyelashes feel like they're a little bit much. I mean, thank you. <laughs> One of the other things too that I like about Serena is that she's a rock star tennis player, but she's also a mother, you know, and she's also, you know, she's there for her family and that's, that's a big deal. down here now. Like for some reason it wasn't letting me uh, pick up on my clay buildup. I don't know when I'm going to actually feel like 
putting this down, but I guess I'm just having too much fun with it. <laughs> try to widen this out a little bit I think that'll help to I'm just gonna try to strengthen this and kind of subdue this a little bit. It's like we were talking about earlier, just like these subtle forms that I honestly don't have enough reference or experience for. <laughs> a matter of trying to figure those out. I think that's working. I mean, that's... Oh my gosh. Yeah, something, something is just not quite right with my computer. see we can get this to maybe dig in just a little bit more kind of tricky because like I'm, I'm working off of the photo reference instead of working off of a design usually what I'll do for these sorts of things is I'll, I'll design it like I'll sketch it out um, and then I'll go in and uh, sculpt it out but Today, I didn't do that. In fact, maybe that's what I'll start doing, is I'll start... and just lost his teeth. Move those a smidge closer. I think he's 
coming up to tell us. <laughs> Con cuidado. <laughs> I feel like that feels a little bit better. I think that feels a little bit better. How do you usually Z rem I actually don't Z remesh really at all. Um, Z remesher is one that I'll use mostly for like um, hard surface pieces, or I'll use it for um, some clothing, but. Uh, <laughs> you like seeing the shadows of the yeah let me let me change the uh change the lighting just slightly and then we'll go ahead and change the uh shadows just a little bit just so we can get fifty sixty five let's get a resolution of Oops. Something yeah, that works. That works. Go ahead and see what that looks like. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a little window. <laughs> He's rubbing up his tongue. <laughs> so gross. There was a commercial. Oh my goodness! Let me see if I can if I can remember who did the commercial. But there was a. It was a Wonder Woman commercial, I think. I, I, it might not have been a Wonder Woman commercial, but it was a. superhero commercial right here where she transforms into Wonder Woman <laughs> let me see <laughs> see like they like <laughs> they merge and she has to go and like save the world from these evil tennis ball robots <laughs> boom boom and and they're all toast obviously because they're up against Serena Williams right <laughs> yeah it's funny boom yep there you go anyway Funny little commercial. I can't remember what it was for. Uh, get your TV together. Direct TV. Yeah, so direct TV ad. That's what it was. It was in there somewhere. <laughs> I think that the hair is making too much of a poof here on the side. I want to kind of streamline this shape. To see if I can get a, a more a kind of streamlined shape kind of coming back. And you know what? Purely for kicks and giggles. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's kind of get a little bit more form in here to this uh, too much to this tongue and then for the hair 
this isn't something that I'll you know keep as like permanent, but what I'll do is I will is I will come over here. Let's come up to our noise makers, and I always use I always use this for like special hair. Um, like this type of like kind of afro sort of hair so this will help me kind of design it a little bit more um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to surface there it is uh, we'll say edit just to kind of get rid of my color there because I don't want it to affect um, I think I want to make the plug-in size a little bit bigger. Not, not, not too much bigger. Just enough bigger to be able to see those shapes. <clears throat> we'll say uh, noise scale, something like that. And we'll call it OK. And then we'll say mask by noise. OK. So you see like this is giving me something kind of kind of cool get my move brush and I'm just going to pull that in now this is like a super simple cheat and I kind of invented this little cheat by uh, when I was doing my draw this in your style character from a little while back uh, you've probably you probably uh, remember her if you let's go over in the portfolio because she's over in here in character uh, this gal right here there's a draw this in your style challenge that I did a couple years ago and that's how I did her hair I was using the masking from the noise to be able to pull out the uh, um, Dracula. <laughs> Do I follow Tom Richmond? That's not a name that I'm familiar with. Dude, have fun with lunch there, Leonard. <laughs> How do we get so so clean loops? Lots of practice. But yeah, so the hair, this is how I how I was able to get the hair for her and it's a tremendous little tool. I love using I don't want to get like a ton into into here because this isn't meant to be like this isn't meant to be afro, it's meant to be uh, pulled back so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting it to have like a little bit of uh, noise in essence and then what I want to do is be able to go in and um, use something like the slash brush which I don't think I even have active right now um, yeah, I think my computer's not having it today. <laughs> Let's go to brush. Let's go to slash and slash two. Oops, way too strong, and I need to turn off that. Now it's not strong enough. I'm 
Now it's just a matter of kind of going back and forth a little bit just to be able to get a little bit of a feeling of directionality for the hair. You don't have to do like, you know, strokes the whole way, you know, I'm just trying to go through and get a little bit of a feel of, in fact, it's almost giving me kind of almost more of a clay sort of pattern, which is kind of interesting. kind of nice and I'm just kind of like jiggling it back and forth I don't know how easy it is to see what it is that I'm doing let me turn off colors so you can kind of see more what it is that I'm actually doing here can like focus on getting some areas to be a little bit deeper than others and that'll help to kind of give you maybe a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more of like a sense of strand maybe I don't know it's kind of tricky because I don't have a super big uh, plan for making those sorts of things but if I wanted to be able to make it so that I have um, so that I have some areas where maybe I have uh, the silhouette being broken a little bit better. I can come over here and I can just grab this. Uh, let's, let's use a snake hook brush actually. So we can grab some of these little spots and just kind of break off the silhouette. to break silhouette some. computer is suffering this is not voting well because I mean it's only 300,000 points <laughs> it's like shouldn't be suffering like this um, there's no way to do that kind of uh, hair by hand and geometry loops um, yeah, this sort of this sort of hair I mean it's there are a lot of ways to kind of go about it it's just that this is going to be kind of the fastest way um, fiber mesh is another way. Um, let me turn off the or turn on the uh, color again. Yeah, you see, it? it's working pretty well. It's just uh, it's it's not quite the same, which is kind of tricky. Um, but yeah, it's kind of tricky. 
She's making the same face I make when I discover the kids found my frozen Snickers bars I hid in the freezer inside a box of frozen peas. <laughs> Sneaky. Tom Richmond is one of Mad Magazine's character artists. Oh, okay. Uh, he's been a great inspiration for me. Your models remind me of his work. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> know who you're talking about now. Yeah, the, the Mad Mag Magazine caricatures are always so, uh, they're fun, the way that they're exaggerated. Um, so yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about now. give her a little bit more of this there's like this muscle that needs to oh my gosh am I seriously using snake hook I was like why isn't it working it's not working it's not working why isn't it working <laughs> There's like this little muscle that's supposed to be popping out like right over here. I'm trying to figure out if I even like how that looks. And it's like, I could noodle this all day long. And I kind of almost have. <sighs> Let's kind of get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Let's kind of get rid of some of this. Get rid of some of this. I think I want to move her eyes even a little bit closer and then we're going to call it This will help to kind of there we go. 
she needs her hoop or er, she needs the earrings for sure like that's that's a non-negotiable i need to do that um before i do anything else let's go to movie timeline show let's bookmark a view just so that we can have that to go back to for render or whatever um and then go to the headband because I'm, it's just a good opportunity for me to be able to just use <laughs> uh, something that I've um, already created that doesn't need to keep its subdivision levels. going to experiment with these uh with you know giving her hoops uh deformation inflate these somewhere it makes sense kind of rotate them a little bit let's go sub tool split unmasked points And then the only other thing that I need to do, turn off symmetry, and let's uh, grab a polysphere. She has this little stud that she wears, I think like right over here. Let me, let me check again, just to, yeah, right up in there, okay. Serena Williams, everybody. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give her uh, Z metal earrings. Go to material, color, fill object. Let's go over to the hair, turn on our dynamic just so that it's a little bit smoother. And uh, yeah. Go ahead, turn on dynamic for this. Ooh, in fact, uh, for this piece, we can actually add a little bit of thickness. Which is nice. In fact, I'm gonna change the offset. No, I guess the offset's fine. Leave it at zero. Okay. Let's 
Let's go ahead and set that there. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I totally did not even get close to this. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> All right. There she be. <laughs> gonna call that good. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'd be surprised at the layout of. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Thanks, Steven. Yeah, it was fun. It's uh, it's always kind of a challenge to do something different, something based from, like, not my own work, uh, not my own concept sort of thing. So, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. There's definitely a lot that needs to be changed but it's not gonna happen today or is it uh, I just want to get rid of a little bit of this chin and it's like I, I don't know I hate it when I do this when it's like I bring everything into second guessing territory, or it's like, <laughs> uh, just just stop, just stop, just stop. Okay, it's good, it's good. We're gonna call it good, and we're going to save it, and it'll be good. And maybe someday I'll come back and I'll <laughs> fix whatever I don't like about it. But uh, yeah, yeah, you can see topology. Um, <laughs> it's gotten so pushed around, um, but yeah, real fun, real fun, man, thank you guys for coming and hanging out, having fun, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, al it's always a good time, uh, you know, coming and hanging out with you guys, being able to sculpt some. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed your time. Hopefully it was as much of an adventure for you as it is for me. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a wonderful, awesome Saturday. And gosh, I'll see you the next time I see you. Um, I'll be streaming again next Saturday. I'll have to figure out what it is that I, uh, that I want to do by, uh, by then. Um, but yeah, I will see you next Saturday. Uh, if you're interested in kind of, uh, you know, getting news and finding out more about me, remember there is the, uh, the stylized character course that is on sale on uh, ArtStation currently. So if you're interested in that at all, um, it does go through the full process of you know sculpting from a concept, the full topology for uh, for animation, the posing, everything. Uh, I even do some clothing for her as well, which I uh, showcased on. Oh, it looks like I must have I must have closed it. Um, I showcase on on in the tutorial about and in the series about how to be able to create clothing and things like that. Good hell. <laughs> Q.
keep getting these pop-ups of like dating sites and like what in the world is that even coming from and i keep blocking them and it's like how do you keep getting back in um anyway it's a it's on sale for a little while <laughs> i don't know how long the sale goes um yeah because they're not even displaying like how long it's going to be on sale but it's a but there is a sale so feel free to go ahead and jump on get that um yeah I'm trying to think of what else if you're also interested in checking out instagram um i do like to post here from time to time about uh, about my uh, progress and projects and things like that that I that I'm working on so uh, feel free to drop in and check that out and come have fun with me so yeah that's what we got for today and hope you guys had a great time and I'll see you guys next Saturday smartest out